Welcome back to Kushka Garage, everyone. Got a fun one for you today. We're going to be working on my old 2001 LB7 Duramax GMC Sierra 3500 Crew Cab Long Deck Dually. We're going to be changing out this, what looks to be, really old, tired AC Delco starter for a newer AC Delco starter. Picked it up on Amazon for a pretty decent price, free shipping with Amazon Prime. Highly recommend it. I've now had the new starter in my truck for a couple of months now, and uh, it's still turning great, turning fine. I'll show you that at the end. Uh, I believe you've seen how this one was working at the beginning of this video. And as you see, it is really tired as old starters get. I have no clue how old this one is. Uh, it was in the truck when I got it. So it's, you know, I don't, I don't even know. I've owned the truck for about four years. You can tell, I don't know if you can see this. Try to get some light on there. Oop, too much. The gears are a little bit worn and the motor is tired because I can turn it by hand. Whereas the new one you'll see later in the video, I cannot. So you would think because this is a starter that it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I did a starter video on my Chevy 350 earlier and I've done a ton of Chevy 350 starters and I've done uh, one 12 valve Cummins starter wasn't too bad this one looks like it should be pretty easy because it's only two bolts but i will tell you what this bottom bolt is a son of a bitch to get to uh, you'll see in the video you can't really get to it uh, conventionally just by throwing a ratchet on it which would be nice you can't just hop under the truck and unbolt it and pull this the old one out you actually need a series of uh, extensions and i think you need about 28 29 inches of extensions at a minimum because you got to go in from below you got to take off that um, skid plate and you got to put your extensions through there so that the socket will latch on uh, to that bolt because there's just too much crap in the way to get to it also you're going to want to drop your uh, exhaust um, pipe that connects to the down pipe back just that one forward section get that out of the way so that when you're removing this starter, you don't have anything in your teeth. Uh, and same thing for installation, makes it super easy. But other than that, it is pretty straightforward. I'll go over the tools and stuff here uh, in a minute in the video. But you really only have two nuts right here for the electricals. You have two bolts, Bob's your uncle, that's it. It's otherwise just your typical starter. If you've done one, you've done a thousand of them. And to do them on a Duramax, it's just a little trickier than what I'm used to. Might be a little trickier than what you're used to. That's where you're here watching this video. Also, if you're here because you want to see how the AC Delco uh, responds or how easy it is to install, well, you get to see all of that as well. Um, it does work. It's been working great. And um, yeah, I'll show you, uh, show you how it starts up at the very end of the video. So without further ado, let's get to it. First thing we want to do is disconnect our battery cables and as you know we have two batteries so we want to disconnect both of them so that we have zero power going to our starter down there. For disassembly you're going to need an 8 millimeter, 7 sixteenths, a 13 millimeter and a 15 millimeter. The 8mm and the 13mm are for the electrical connections right on the starter itself. You can see it right there. There's a big guy on top. That's the battery cable. That is a 13. And then the little guy directly below it there is a 8mm. For installation ease, that 7 16 is going to remove that band clamp so we can get the exhaust pushed out of the way. 15mm is going to be for the mounting bolts. There's one on top and there's one directly on bottom. I'll go ahead and show you on the brand new unit here. This is an AC Delco unit. There's the top one we just seen. The bottom one directly below that. Those are the 14s. 
And then for a close up, you can see this is the 13 millimeter and this will be for the eight millimeter. Looks like we'll have to reuse this eight millimeter. all 15 so I'm gonna remove this plate try to get my extensions to go straight back because there's no way we can access it from up here there's very very limited space down in there so let's go ahead and remove that skid plate and see what we can do also probably gonna have to uh, remove the bracket for this piece so I can tip this down and out of the way uh, so that we have enough room for clearance to get our starter in out of here and get the new one in because it's a pretty tight tolerance Okay, so I had to throw in pretty much every extension I had plus my swivel bits, but I think I can reach this now and it went right on to that 15 millimeter bolt. I don't think there's any other anything else it can go on to so It's floppy, the bolt is out. Wires are disconnected. I believe this is still gonna be in the way. So we'll go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Pretty sure. I don't know, let's try it. Maybe it'll fall just out, right out.
Nope, this pipe will definitely have to be moved. We have the old one removed right here that you can see. Looks like this was also an old AC Delco part. Um, I have no clue how old it actually is. Um, I haven't changed the starter in the four years that I've owned it. So it's that plus who knows how many more years. But it's definitely not the original one. It is a little bit smaller like this guy. I believe the original ones are a little bigger. Get you close up on the teeth. Those actually don't look bad. Show you this new one here. Oh yeah, you can feel resistance. I actually can't turn this counterclockwise, whereas this old one will turn counterclockwise. So this thing's definitely getting tired on us. But as you see, it is the same part, same connections. Looks like the newer one has a boot on it though. All right. So we'll go ahead and reinstall that old one the same way, we, or the reverse of the same, the way that we uninstalled the old one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in place, set those bolts in, and then, yeah, I guess reconnect everything. sure to anesthesize both of these this time so it's a little less difficult to get out the next time.
All right, guys, that is it. That's the job. It is pretty straightforward. You can do it with some basic tools, some ratchet extensions, socket set, little elbow grease. That's all it really takes. Uh, this unit is a pretty decent price, especially if you have Amazon Prime, and especially if you live somewhere like Alaska where shipping uh, will kill you. Um, and these AC Delco units are pretty nice. It's, uh, I think it's already a lower wattage and a higher torque than the um, OEM specs. So it's already got a decent bump uh, in performance compared to the OEM. As far as what I was reading, I mean, you guys tell me if that's right, but that's what I read. And uh, it does start up pretty nice. I almost went for the high torque that you can get off of, um, well, you can get them, let you do the research. You can look at the high torque ones yourself. Uh, but they were about $289 or about $100 more than this one. And then shipping was gonna be about another $150, $200, somewhere in there to get up to me. And that's where, that's where I always look to places like Amazon or other places that have free shipping. I do realize that other businesses that do free shipping, I have noticed this after I order a couple of parts from them, bam, there's no more free shipping to Alaska. So I must be one of the first Alaskan customers and they're like, oh shit, that's really expensive. So it's nice to have a subscription to things like Amazon Prime because not only do you get uh, free shipping, but you get access to audio books, to PDF books, to um, all the TV shows and movies and stuff on Amazon. So it's kind of nice for, you know, 13, 15 bucks a month. I don't know what it is anymore. It's not that bad. But I more than make up for it in shipping by buying heavy ass parts like this. So it does pay for itself. And it is one of the main reasons why I can uh, operate this channel and why I can afford to fix my trucks is because uh, they save us a ton of money on shipping and they get us the parts that we want like AC Delco. So all right, guys, hope this helped you out in some way. I'm going to put a link in the description for all this stuff down below so you can check it out. Please consider subscribing like the video so we can disseminate this video to as many like-minded folks who are having similar issues and uh yeah have a nice day i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a link to a video here and here to uh, another lb7 video and then i'm gonna let youtube choose a video that they think is best for you for my selection all right guys we'll see you over there